We're here in Brighton for a few days. It's hot. We'll try and get some videos done from the beach in the next few days. But I thought I'd do a quick video on DVT risk factors, also PE risk factors. If a patient comes in, you suspect one of these things, what kind of things might you be asking for in the history? Or if someone's had one of these and they ask you, why have I had it, doctor? What kind of things could you be talking about in terms of things that may have put them at higher risk? Number one, previous history of VTE, of course. So any previous history themselves or any family history of venous thrombin is worth asking about the family um, at the time. Any medical problems that might put them at high risk, things like cancer, things like heart failure, uh, severe infection, recent surgery, fractures, lots of things can put you potentially at high risk. It's worth looking down past medical history or asking about some of these things. Overweight or obesity, um, is the patient pregnant or in the postpartum period? Again, both put you at high risk of DVTs. Recent immobility, this could be due to a stroke, this could be hospitalization, this could be a, a recent long haul flight. Lots of reasons why immobility might put you at high risk. History of smoking, history of certain hormonal conditions or so hormonal treatments for various situations or conditions, anything to do with the vein. So history of varicose vein, any injuries to the vein, cath you know, cannulation, whatever it might be, anything that's recently happened to veins might put you at high risk and also dehydration as well. So it's worth thinking about some of these things in terms of risk factors of DVTs and PEs. Hope this helps. Hashtag can pass, will pass.